You know, I love it when I find gear that is fairly inexpensive because camera gear can get very expensive. So I reached out to you guys on Instagram and also on YouTube community page and I asked you guys, what type of video do you guys wanna see? Do you guys wanna see camera accessories under $50 or more towards $100? And you guys responded. You guys said you guys wanna see under 50 bucks. So I have a lot of gear here that I use and I've kind of collected throughout the years that I think might be useful for people who are starting off a channel or even filmmakers. So let's go ahead and start off with the very first product and this is the Manfrotto mini tripod that I actually just recently picked up because typically, and I featured this on the channel before, I used to carry this pistol grip where I would mount the camera up here. And this is actually really great for stabilization, which I don't use anymore. And then from time to time, I would take this Gorillapod, which I'm sure you guys know what this is. I wanted something kind of like a hybrid in between both of these because carrying both can get a little bit heavier and you know, obviously take up space. So. I actually just recently picked this up and I love this thing. So basically what this does is you thread this onto your camera very easily because it's got a little quarter inch thread. So it has a little, a little small head and then all you do is you push this little button down here and you can move the head around. And then once you release it, so for example, if I let go, it'll lock into place. So I'm not gonna worry if the camera is actually gonna fall down. So actually this is really good for vlogging. So you vloggers out there, if you guys wanna do something like this, you kind of mount it this way Perfect little setup. Also, you guys can use this for time lapses. So a lot of times, if you wanna just set the camera down, let it go, start collecting time lapses. And then here's another one that I've actually featured on the channel that works really great with this. And it's this ReadyCam. I've actually talked about this, so I'm not gonna go too much in depth. What I'll do, I'll leave those links down below where I've actually featured this. And then you can thread this on. So for those of you that like to use your cell phone, use a ReadyCam. And then there you go, you have the little cell phone holder for stabilization. Again, you can use this as a tripod. And this little head is actually very powerful. As you can see, it holds this full-size DSLR, basically. Uh, any A7S II, A7R, A6500 uh, will work. Even a 5D Mark IV uh, should be able to hold it. So this has been my kind of like my new toy that I've picked up. I really like it because I don't carry these anymore. So. Really awesome stuff. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is this guy right here. Oh, by the way, price on this is like 22 bucks, which is actually very cheap. Uh, this guy right here, this is a base plate that has a rail support. Now the rails do not come with it. However, the base plate is 19 bucks. And then the rails, if, depending on the size or the length, uh, you can pick them up anywhere from $10 to like 20, 25, and these are carbon fiber, so they're lightweight. So what's the purpose of this? Like, why would you want something like that? Well, typically, uh, if you guys buy, let's say, or want to get a cage, that can get very, very expensive. Cages on cameras can be like 100, 200 bucks, uh, depending on the camera. So what this allows you to do is have a rail support so you can mount other accessories. So, by the way, I've actually featured this on the channel too, this little d staff ring, which I recommend that you replace. So basically you mount your camera onto this, very similar to what I did with the Manfrotto, it's got a quarter inch thread. And then once you do this, you can add the plate underneath here. So most tripods come with a plate, so you mount the plate here, and then you slide this onto your tripod. Now the cool thing or the benefit of having rails is if you wanna use a follow focus, you can mount a follow focus onto the rail system. Or what I've done in the past, and you've probably seen some like behind the scenes and stuff like that, I like to mount, for example, extended battery packs like this one here. I've actually featured this also on the channel uh, where you can actually mount this onto the rails. So if I can put this back here, look at that. Now I have like unlimited power basically because the amount of battery that this is gonna drain is nothing compared to what I have back here. You can also mount my shoe mount on top to mount the microphone. So I don't have any additional shoe mount. So, you know, I can mount these to the rail system. Other people like to mount, you know, monitor arms. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do uh, with this where you generally don't need to buy a whole entire cage. So this thing here, the actual base plate is 19 bucks, like I said. And then if you wanna pick up uh, depending on the size of uh, rails, uh, that'll run you anywhere between 10 and 19 bucks. So this thing is really awesome. Now this one here, uh, you don't have to own a red camera, but this little toolkit right here, which is called the Sidewinder, $20. I I'm telling you right now, if you own a camera, if you're a filmmaker or even a YouTuber, this is a must. It's basically got all the hex keys that you need. Um, I use this to adjust like tripods because it has like those weird funky hex. So it also has the Torx keys on here, which is very useful. And then you also have a Phillips and a flathead. So if you wanna you know, screw something on. I'm telling you right now, this comes with me everywhere I go. Uh, whether I'm adjusting a tripod, if I'm doing something with a cage, 
uh, if I'm doing something with my camera, this has all of the tools. I get it, there's probably more inexpensive, you know, you can get like an Allen key wrench for like five bucks, but that's not gonna have everything that this has. And again, you don't have to own a red camera to use this. I like this little pouch that it also comes with because you can use a belt. So you wrap this around your belt and you carry this with you, so it's very useful. 28 bucks, it's more on the expensive side. Again, it's red. But it's really cool, it's very useful, and like I said, I carry this with me everywhere I go, and I can't tell you how much this has gotten me out of a pickle. This thing is awesome. Now, this one here, I've actually had, or people requested for a long time, Armando, how do you get really great audio when I'm using a lavalier mic? So, I'll show you guys, this is sort of like the secret here. Uh, this is top stick, this is a men's grooming tape. We're not gonna use it for that, we're gonna use it for something else. So typically when you buy a lavalier mic, it comes with a little clip. Now you actually clip it on, and I am a type of person, I hate when I see the lavalier mic when it's exposed. Personally for me, I think that looks bad. I don't know, I'm just kind of a, it's a pet peeve of mine. So we're gonna take the clip off because I'm not wearing a button up shirt, so this is not gonna work. So with the top stick, and this runs for about, I think like $8 or $7 for a box, it has like sort of like this little sticky material. So what you do is you peel one side first, show you guys really quick here, peel this side, and then what you do is you try and get it right on the edge of the mic. So let's just pretend this is, you can either place it on the skin. Um, I would probably recommend if somebody has hair chest <laughs> to not use this, probably do it more on the shirt, but let's just pretend this is underneath or behind my shirt, just so you guys can see it visually. So you could just kind of place it on here like this, and then you peel the top part out because both sides are double-sided. So let me show you really quick on that. Very sticky and it actually uh, sticks to basically any type of fabric. It's transparent and it doesn't have this like wrinkly noise. So I just mounted like, let's say for example here, obviously underneath my shirt. So to the, to the uh, like I said, to the skin or to a shirt and it, it'll just stay here. It's very nice. This is kind of like a little secret. Works really good. And like I said, it's like seven bucks for like a whole entire box. So you don't run through them that much. I mean, there's like, I don't know how many are in here, 50 of them. So there you go, you have 50 videos for seven bucks. Not bad, right? And then the last product I wanna talk about, let me just take this off. See, look how sticky this is, you see what I mean? Um, the last product I wanna talk about is these Think Tank cables. Holy smokes, these things have been awesome. So basically I use them for almost everything. There's, no, they're $11 for like 10 of them. So one way I'm using it is right now I have it up here on my boom pole. So I have my microphone with an XLR cable running across the boom pole. And then what I'm doing is I'm using this to secure it and keep it everything nice and tight so that way the cable doesn't drag down. I usually put these around my tripod. I put these almost on everywhere, like my light stands, just because they're so useful and inexpensive. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the rubber band trick. So what you do is you put the rubber band inside the handle and you kind of start using the rubber band as friction to get a really smooth pan. Well, instead of using a rubber band, what I do is I wrap this around my tripod legs and then that way whenever I need to do a pan, I just whip this out and then I start basically doing a nice clean pan shot because it has that elasticity. The other thing is, again, keeping things nice and tidy, I have a 25 foot HDMI cable. So everything, whether it's bags or anything that I need to kind of wrap around, these have been very useful and they're very inexpensive, adjustable. So I keep these everywhere and I pretty much take these and sometimes you can use them for basically anything. These are really cool. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is all stuff that's under 50 bucks. I will leave links to all of these products in the description down below. If you guys like these types of videos, the, be the best way you guys can show me this is by resharing them, let people know, and obviously liking this video. If you guys wanna see behind the scenes, the best way to do it is follow me on Instagram at MondoBytes. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.